Alright guys, so another video to explain about cracked pistons. Okay, so a lot of you probably haven't seen seen this bulletin. A lot of you probably have seen it. There's other bulletins from other countries. This is not an Australian bulletin, so it's not really that relevant to us because you got to understand, so Toyota Motor Corporation, you know, Japan, that's Japan. Then all the other countries, they're just subsidiaries, right? Nice. It's like a separate company, I reckon. They just do what they want, you know, like Australia. So, you know, profits always are put first. So it's not the Japan way. Look, I could be wrong, but this is the way I see it. Japan, Toyota Japan, they're like, you know, customer. Can't remember what, they've got a motto. You can Google it and tell me what it is. It's like, you know, it's along the lines of customer always comes first, you know, and they care about the customer sort of thing. You know, a lot of companies do that and they just sort of crap on a bit to make you feel good. But look, I really think they do. They build good cars and they're good value, but... Soon as um, you know, as soon as it goes to another country, look, we know what Australia is like. It's all about profits. So now that we've got that sorted out, um, there's no bulletin in Australia, so you don't know what you got, what dates, and all that. So forget about the dates. I know about dates because I see old injectors. Please, if you brought the injector kit, please send me back the old injectors so we can keep doing R and D to learn and help you guys out with information. So as far as we're concerned, you can prevent um, pistons from cracking. It's pretty well documented there right in front of you on that technical service bulletin. If you go down to production change, let's talk about that. Number one, improved injectors to prevent wrong combustion. Okay, that is basically telling you that wrong combustion is causing the cracked piston. Number two, they also say that piston shape has changed in order to be more robust. So we're making the piston stronger, that's great. So they had the 040s in the earlier engines, 1KDs, and you know, they'd crack with bad injectors and wrong combustion of course and chips or tunes and stuff like that because that's wrong combustion as well but you know we won't go too much on that we might get back to it. we'll try and keep this one short um, now so the older engines they used to crack pistons and they went from 040s to 080s well of course they were meant to be stronger as well they're like in the 150 Prados well they crack as well probably even worse so it's not that easy to make a piston that's stronger. So all these people that go on about stronger pistons and these brands and these secret brands they've got, we don't believe that uh, they're any stronger. If it was that easy to make it stronger, um, then Toyota would do that, you know? I mean, you know, they're a big company, a lot of R&D, a lot of engineers, a lot, a lot of money, whatever. It's just not that easy to do. The cause of the problem, the root problem is wrong combustion injectors. It happens in other brands as well. We're not gonna talk about other brands. We're just specialise in 1KD, so that's what we're talking about here. We've picked the best engine. They're a tough, robust engine that's going to last a very long time. The best thing you can do is have fresh injectors there. Now, how fresh? You don't want to be changing injectors every two or three years like some people do, and I'll tell you, there is people that do that. Um, look, I do mine every 150,000 Ks. I like fresh injectors. I don't think it's a lot of money in, to invest, you know, a, a day's work, and that to have a good reliable vehicle. The newer vehicles, a lot more technology problems, uh, bigger battery EGRs and DPFs. Anyway, let's not go there. There it is, you can see it in writing, wrong combustion. Get a lot of people contact me with cracked pistons. Funnily enough, it's not vehicles that I look after or do injectors on generally. Um, if you leave your injectors in too long, the damage can start. We probably had a couple of those over the last, you know, five years or something like that where we're talking out of thousands of people that have replaced injectors, whatever. Um, so anyway, I'll try and keep it short. That's it. There you go. I hope that's helped you understand a bit about, yes, it is wrong combustion. There it is, basically documented, okay? So they're trying to make the piston stronger, but it doesn't mean it's going to solve the problem if you've got wrong combustion injectors not working right. And it's not just about readings. It's the readings will tell you if they're bad. doesn't mean they're fully okay if they're old change them anyway if it blows smoke if it's noisy if you've got any symptoms any of those four things that's reasons to change them if it looks okay and they've reached their age use by date which we're currently saying about seven years is a good time although the replacements for the 150s are full day i'll see the mechanicals are lasting a lot longer it seems indefinitely subject to contamination anyway trying to keep it short so out of here thanks guys see ya